All right, so um, in honor of Thanksgiving, uh, this is another uh, transition feast, I'm calling it. Um, so this one is uses the color change style in a preset. Um, it's got 12 colors. Um, and then this also has um, the transition on color change, and then I've added a ton of transition effects. Um, so with the new OS, uh, with the 3.3 beta, um, or newer, um, it introduces transitions, and transitions can be used for a lot of different purposes. So I tried to come up with as many as I could and stick them in one style just to kind of show a little bit of what's possible. But there's, you know, it's it's almost a, a, a factor of 10 in, in terms of how many possibilities there are now. So this is definitely by no means all of them. Um, so uh, basically, uh, in the fork, we have the on spark, the off spark, the end spark that were created. Um, I'm doing similar things here, but I've expanded on it all using transition. So the first transition will be when I ignite the blade, there's going to be a power up effect and that's using transition instead of on spark. Um, and then, um, using, I have a stab effect, which also uses transitions and that stab effect will have, uh, the blade will have, uh, the effect come in, wipe in and then fade out. Um, and then on lockup, there's a, a, a begin lockup effect, which is going to be a flash of the whole blade, like you're clashing. Um, then you'll have localized lockup. And then there'll be a cooldown effect after lockup, just like the end spark. Um, and then I've also done the same thing to drag. And then lastly, on this particular style, when there's a cooldown effect when you, dra when you retract the blade, but then there's also an emitter effect, which is the cooldown of the emitter. So it's almost like the, the metal of the emitter has gotten too hot. Um, so I've added that to this one as well. Um, and there's there's a lot of other possibilities. You can have a heat up on the uh, emitter I've done in the past. Um, so there's there's a lot of possibilities here. But so this one now is available for anybody testing out the 3.3 beta or newer. Um, so here it is. So there's that power up effect. And then of course it's got blast and clash. And now, um, stab in the main OS is a little different from the fork, um, so it's actually a thrust and clash. So you'll see the tip of the blade, there'll be a wipe in, and then a fade of that effect. So, so that's the stab effect. And then on lockup now, there'll be an initial clash of the full blade uh, using one transition. There'll be the localized lockup. And then when I release lockup, there'll be a cooldown effect using a different transition. So that's the, uh, the transition for begin lockup and the transition for end lockup along with localized lockup. And now for drag, I've got similar. So the drag, there'll be an initial flash and then the drag effect. And then it'll fade out. So instead of just turning off, it fades back out. And then Lastly, on retraction now, you'll see a cooldown effect, but then they're actually the emitter portion of the blade will actually also have a secondary cooling effect, um, as if the metal was getting hot. So you'll see that'll slowly cool from white to a yellow, to an orange, to a red, and then it'll dim itself out. So I do have a version without that if you don't particularly like that effect. Again, this is just to kind of show off uh, what's possible. And then for color change, now you'll see there's also a transition effect on color change. So this one I think uses the fade. Um, so for my uh, testing, I put together a prop file that I use. Um, so the, on, on my prop file, which I'll have in the library, it's power and aux. And that uses, this one's using a wipe transition. There'll be a few other variations you can do. Um, and then with my prop file, you can do power and aux, but if the blade's pointing down, it'll go backwards. So you can go back, but let's go to the, all right. And then again, with the cooldown effect. So I'll get a cooldown effect with, and then you'll get that emitter effect at the end and it'll change through its colors as the metal cools. And then it goes out. So this, uh, this style is also available in the library uh, for anyone interested in testing it out.